Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript series. Today we're gonna to be talking about inheritance a little bit more when it comes to constructors. Now, before we get started, please check out our sponsor, DevMountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career-centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so we're gonna be talking about what you need to know when it comes to this inheritance stuff. Let's go through an example where we use an object literal. So I might do something like this. So we're creating this object and we're just using the curly braces to create an object on the spot. This is known as an object literal, but when we're doing this, it's essentially the same thing as calling the object constructor, which would look like this. Basically you say new, and then you invoke this function called object with a capital O. Now when we create a method, it has a prototype. So in the previous video, we talked about object.prototype. Now we get a little bit more context and understand where this comes from. We have this constructor called object with capital O, and this constructor is going to have a prototype, which is accessible through this prototype property of the constructor. Now, why is this important? Well, when we create a new object using a constructor, the prototype is transferred to that new object. So for example, if we say, let X and assign it new object to this call to this constructor, this prototype is going to be transferred to the prototype of this new object. In this case, it's called X. Now, I don't think you'll access it the same way being X.prototype. Rather, you would access it using object.getprototype of and pass it in parentheses. So it would look like, hmm, where do I write this? So if you did object.getprototype of X, triple equals object.prototype, you will get true. So what we can do is we can basically define a, an inheritance hierarchy by strategically using prototypes to pass on information to the children. So anything that's part of this object.prototype is automatically passed on to anything created using this constructor, in this case, X. We can do that same thing with our own custom constructors, and that's what we'll be doing in this series. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. In the next video, I'm not sure what we're gonna be talking about, but as always, it's gonna be the greatest video on all of the internet. It will probably go viral. So you'll want to definitely check that out before everyone else does, and it's old news. So thank you guys. Please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.